welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey. I am 19 years old and I am on the autistic spectrum. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. So let's get started. Episode 2 of Independent Living Tips with an Autistic Adult. So today we're going to talk about productivity. Tips for being productive. So we're going to go from night to day. So first, start off your night right. Put your phone on do not disturb early. I like to start mine at 7. That way I'm not getting any notifications. I'm not texting people. I'm starting to relax. I take a bath between 5 and 6 and then I make my dinner and I listen to a podcast while I take a bath and I relax and I meditate. And then I watch a TV for a few hours and I relax my brain and I put it on do not disturb and dark mode, meaning it's more relaxing for the brain. At 9 p.m. or 9.45, I like to put it on downtime. And I do that on my MacBook, too, and my iPad. And my iPad, of course. And I put it on downtime, meaning which I can't get into anything. I can't really use it. And there, I'm forced to go to bed. I'm just going to get ready for bed, and I'm going to go to bed. And in the morning, I go to bed between, like, 9 or 10. And in the morning, I wake up at 8.30 in the morning, and I get ready, and I work out. And I do my swimming, and I get up, and I either have a swim coaching session where I work hard, or I swim by myself. And it starts up the day right. You're feeling, it makes you feel good. It just makes you feel whole and complete. You're being, you're getting all your positive energy out, and you're getting all the negative energy and putting it away. Putting it out, and you're keeping that positive energy. And you're calm, and you feel good, and you feel ready to start the day. So then... You can do whatever you have to need for the start of the day. For me, I like to pick days I do certain things, and then I have days I do whatever needed to be done around the house. So, like budgeting, random things that I need to get done. So I pick a day for everything. I pick a day I do YouTube. I pick a day I clean my house. I keep a day I pick up my house and do my laundry and my dishes. And I pick a day for everything. And I do things on those days. I know exactly what I have to get done. And then on the other days, I do whatever random stuff. And I always start my day off, of course, with a swim. So figure out a workout that works for you. Whatever. For me, it's swimming. And so you know those things you have to do. And also, even if you couldn't sleep the night before, just get up and do it. So just even if you do one thing. My goal this year was to do one thing to for my goals in life. Just do one thing towards that. And just every day do something productive. And that can be getting ready and going on a walk, going and doing whatever, making a video, walking a dog, do something for yourself that is making your life better in the future and forever. Just do one thing. And if you do a bunch, great. If you do one that's making it better, great. And it can be as simple as making yourself dinner that's not frozen. Or cleaning, vacuuming the house if you need to clean. Or Making sure your dog walking schedule is good, billing your clients, whatever, or whatever you do, doing some work, taking care of your house, whatever that is. That's my tips for productive, and that's how I have a positive mindset with starting my day off and going to bed early and taking care of myself and also being productive. The center for being productive is self-care, and then the rest just comes out because you feel good. And you just know what you got to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. Bye, guys!